All right, as we said, the Corps of Engineers is raising the height of a sill in the river to block the salt from moving further. It's like an underwater levee. Uh, today, Paul Murphy took a tour of the massive dredge operation to build up the barrier and visited Port Sulphur, where a crucial water treatment plan just came back online. This is the Plaquemines Parish water treatment plant in Port Sulphur. It was seriously damaged during Hurricane Ida two years ago and just came back online this Friday. And the parish councilman down here, Mitch Jurisic, says it's been a godsend to get this back online. Yes, when we got the news on Friday, it was just wonderful. You know, I was the, thank God. You know, the plant was capable of running prior to Friday, but we had to wait for a clearance from the LDH uh, to give us to go ahead to start giving the citizens in the low end of this parish the water they've been deserving for much, you know, much needed time. I mean, this is one piece of the puzzle. Talk about how this fits into what else is being done here to keep clean, uh, fresh, potable water well, for your folks. We're going to be bringing in reservoir barges, not just to this plant, but to the one on the east bank and down to Boothville. Plus, we have two reverse osmosis machines coming for the Port Sulphur plant, one coming for Boothville. Once all of these are in place, we won't have this problem that we'll be able to make our own water from the river, filter it, treat it, and keep good water in the low end of the parish. We've already got the contract signed on the reverse osmosis machines for the two on the lower end and the one on the east bank. We're working on getting contracts signed for the one in Bell Chase, which is a much bigger water plant. What has been the biggest hardship these past a couple of weeks as that salt water wedge makes its way up the Mississippi River past this part of Plaquemines Parish. Well, Parish. we were able to still get water from Bell Chase prior to, you know, this wedge really, you know, escalating and getting up river. So, yeah, it's been the hardships were ahead of us were what happens if this hits Boothville, I mean, Bell Chase, before we get anything going on down home. So the hardships have been going on for months, too, especially down on the lower end below the Empire Bridge. It's, you know, the salt water has been impacting those residents since, you know, pretty much June 19th. It's been a long time. And now it's fingers crossed that everything continues to work? Exactly. You know, we got everything. It's a temporary fix here, but it's a good temporary fix. We're working on getting this plant up to full operation, hopefully within the next eight, 18 months. But right now we're capable of possibly producing right up to about 2 million gallons a day, which we're, last week we were producing absolutely nothing. So that's a big improvement. Pressure's up. Hopefully we can get our water towers filled back up to capacity where we always have that reserve water on, on hand as well. And today we also took a tour with the Army Corps of Engineers as work is being done to elevate a saltwater barrier in the Mississippi River. Crews are now trying to raise the sill, which is essentially an underwater levee by another 25 feet. And according to the Corps, once the work is completed there by the end of the month, they are hoping that it will delay the upriver progression of the salt water by about two weeks. Import Sulphur, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.